Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I have an unboxing and a giveaway of the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom ND filters and also the silicone straps for the propellers. These are made by Skyrate. So let's get to it. I'm gonna just open up these boxes and kind of show you what comes in the package. So these of course are the ND filters for the Mavic 2 Pro. So when you open up the package you can see you get a microfiber cloth and in here you have your ND4, 8, and 16. On the right hand side is your polarized versions. And let me switch over to the Mavic 2 Zoom so you can kind of see what those look like. Pretty much the same thing. You have your ND4, 8, and 16 in here. and. Um, a little bit smaller of course because that zoom has that smaller lens and you still have your microfiber cloth so you can kind of see what those look like and then on the uh, silicone strap holders you can see these uh, come in a two pack here I already have some opened up here and these just slip over your propellers to keep them from unfolding in your uh, bag or whatever you're carrying it in. These are extremely helpful. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually put the Mavic 2 Pro lenses on. Here is my uh, Mavic 2 Pro. You guys haven't saw this since it fell 20 feet from the power line. Cleaned up really good. Actually, you can't even tell that this has actually been in a crash and fell from 20 feet high from that power line. Um, so first things first, you wanna remove the stock lens and we'll go ahead and attach the ND4 lens on this. I'm gonna switch the camera around so you guys can get a little bit better view of how I'm doing this. But first I want to put on the actual silicone straps so that the props are not going all over the place while I'm trying to switch out the lens. So simple as that, these just slide right on there. You can see the top one's on and I'm gonna flip it over on its back and put the bottom props in these silicone holders Pretty simple, definitely helps with storing this. Uh, you know these silent props sometimes get in the way when you're sliding it in and out of bags, so this definitely helps a lot more. I'm gonna flip it over on its back now, grab the camera and move this down, and then you can see how I'm gonna take this lens off. All right, so here you can see we got the Mavic 2 Pro on its back. All you have to do is grab a hold of the camera, grab the sides of the stock filter on here, twist it, and then it'll pop right off. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach this ND4 polarized lens. It will only go on here one way. This tab on the bottom right is a little bit larger than the other three. So you put it in there on this orientation. You know it's in the correct orientation if you can read the letters across the bottom. Push down and twist slightly and it will pop right in place. Um, these gimbals are a little bit more sturdy than the original DJI Mavic Pro, so I don't think you have to worry about too much about really shoving on this. Of course, this thing fell from 20 feet high, and there's completely nothing wrong with this gimbal. I didn't even get any air, so I think it's fine just to hold on to this with a little bit of force and shove down slightly while twisting. All right, so there you go. You got your ND4 lens on there. I'm gonna switch the camera back and talk to you guys a little bit more about why you might actually wanna use these ND filters. So a lot of you might be asking, why would I ever use an ND filter, especially on the Mavic 2 Pro, when I can adjust the aperture to get the correct shutter speed that I want? So the point is that yes, you can decrease that aperture to get a little bit better quality motion blur and get to the shutter speed that you want, but I really don't like closing my aperture up so small that there's hardly any light even getting through it. So what ND filters help you do is cut out some of that light especially if you're filming on like uh, beaches or in the snow, you wanna use an ND filter. And some rules here, I'm not an expert on ND filters. There's a lot of other videos out there that you can watch and, and especially for drones to determine which one you wanna use. But I'll give you a few tricks of the trade. So you want your target shutter speed to be about two times your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 25 frames a second, 24 frames a second, you want your shutter speed to be about 1 50th. If you're shooting at 30 frames a second, you want it to be about 1 60th. And this creates that cinematic look that you see in all the Hollywood movies. Also, you wanna keep your ISO lower, and this helps by uh, not letting in as much light. Also, reducing that aperture can do that as well. Your target aperture, you wanna be right around five. You'll have to experiment with it and see what your sweet spot is, but right around five seems to work pretty good for me. And the quick cheat sheet that I use is send the drone up in the air, click auto exposure, and see what your shutter speed is. If it's less than 200, I use the ND4. If it's 
less than 400, I'll use an ND8, and if it's less than 800, I'll use an ND16. That's kind of the quick go-to cheat sheet and the easy way to do it. There's a lot of other videos online about how you can match the perfect ND filter ISO and shutter speed, so I'm not gonna go into that. So yeah, here it is, the Mavic 2 Pro ND filter kit and the Mavic 2 Zoom ND filter kit and uh, the uh, propeller straps. I'll give this one away with the zoom portion and the Mavic 2 Pro lens kits will go together as well. Um, I'm gonna be doing this giveaway when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So to enter into this, all you have to do is comment down below and say, do you want the Pro version or the zoom version of these lens? Make sure you already have one of these Mavic 2s. I'm not gonna be giving away these lens kits to someone that doesn't even own a Mavic 2 yet. So if you own one of these, all you have to do is comment down below which one you want, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll contact you. Within 48 hours, you'll have to respond back to me, and I'll be sending these to you. Pretty simple, that's all there is to it. Um, I've been using the Mavic 2 Pro lens kit for about a few weeks now, and I have to say that I've been getting some really great looking cinematic video. Um, F-Stop Labs, definitely pretty good quality lenses. Um, I would say you get your best bang for your buck on these. You can get them right off Amazon Prime, get them to your door in a few days. So make sure you check out F-Stop Labs. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting. And leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.